we're live, we're back, we're here, four o'clock rock on a given Tuesday. We are so happy to be here. Remember that tech is our middle name and this is our Think Tech Tech Show. Right, right, you know, can, right, focused on our middle name. Okay, and uh, we're calling it a, a new generation of apps for Hawaii. Hawaii. Apps are so important. I'm Jay Fidel, and with me to my left is Bello Silitsena. 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 And uh, Michael Harding to his left. Oh. Welcome to the show, you guys. Thank, Thank you, you very Thanks much. For Thanks for having us. Having us. Uh, these guys are from Chi Chihu, and Chihu is a Samoan chant. Uh, can I have that, please? Chihu! I knew you'd it's say that. Early as okay. well. <laughs> okay, and they're, they're a startup software company, and they build apps, build a few apps, and it's very interesting what kind of apps they build. And we're always interested in apps because we think that apps, you know, we didn't always feel this way, but we do now. Apps are the way to the future. Apps are little things that have huge leverage, okay? And the other thing I want to mention is that Hawaii has special needs. Hawaii has special kinds of businesses. Hawaii has characteristics, you know, that maybe other places don't have. And one of those characteristics is we have a ton of condos. We invented condos in 1960, it was before other states did, and uh, we have tons of them all over the place. And some, you guys, one day, you figured out that maybe software could help condos. That was like genius. <laughs> and nobody else figured it out. They'll be trying to figure it out later, you'll see. <laughs> So tell us how you got together, tell us what this company is about, and then we'll talk about your software. Well, the, the company Chihu is really about um, innovation. Uh, our particular interest is in the mobile sphere, and um, we like to find ways that we could automate uh, processes for, 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 for small to medium-sized businesses, primarily. and. Um, Usually, we look for something where there's a gap that can be filled, redundancies, or if somebody approaches us and says, hey, look, um, we're struggling with this and that, yeah. uh, we tend to think, okay, how could we improve the processes that you have going? And solve the problem, and yeah. solve the problem, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's identifying the gaps and the redundancies yes. so that you can do it better. Correct. It's that simple, but that's an important thing. Without that, you're not going to have a successful software company. Yes, you know. and it really is. Um, a lot of the times you'll find that, you know, people aren't thinking, you know, sort of, hey, uh, they're, they're used to doing things a certain way. So it doesn't occur to them that, hey, look, we could potentially do this a lot easier if we automated it, because that's the way that they've been doing it. Yeah. And so we come in and say, look, there is actually an easier way for you to get from point A to point C. Just get rid of B and, and go straight. Yeah. 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 Isn't, but that's the story of all successful software. Yeah. So you, you find out the gaps. You find out the redundancies, mm -hmm. and then the rest kind of falls into place because you fix it, yes. you make it better. So where did you study software? I actually studied software since I was uh, 15 years old. Um, I started off uh, on my, pers my family personal computer, and, uh, but I went to school for something totally different. I went to uh, Hawaii Pacific University for travel industry management and marketing, mm. and uh, ended up in California, uh, not too far from the Bay Area. Doing travel industry things? Doing travel industry management, but uh, you know, being so close to the Silicon Valley and the epicenter of everything that is you know, uh, software, yeah. uh, it was not too difficult. Yeah, but it's in the mental. water up there. It's in the water, like a little yeah. virus or something yeah, yeah. catches you, and then you can't stop. Once you catch it, you know, you're, uh, and so, but yeah, so then I got into that, and, um, but primarily focused on the sales side of things. You're on the sales side? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Michael. Michael, you're the corporate electrician, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, my construction background, certainly helped with my management skills on uh, the back end of the app we created for the condos to actually help managers manage a lot easier. Having the management background, I understand the frustration it is with the redundancies and paperwork or trying to keep up with your people. So yeah. it really helped us kind of develop that end of helping them manage the properties. So if Bello is um, on the sales side, what, what, 
what, what, what side are you on? I also do a lot of the sales with Velo. We, okay. we, we're a pretty good team together, actually. He comes in and woos him with his voice, and I come in the back end with a bunch <laughs> of straight talk and... <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> so, um, so you got the condo market to deal with. You know, there are, oh my God, I, I, my sticks in my head, there are 15 or 20,000 condo buildings in the state of Hawaii. That's a lot wow, of condos. That's a lot more than I thought. More than, no, okay, that's, that's my recollection. We have a condo show every mm -hmm. Thursday. Mm -hmm. You guys should listen to it every Thursday. Right. It's the Hawaii Association, uh, the Hawaii Council for Condominium Associations, and they, they effectively represent those 15 or 20,000 condos. You'd be interested in meeting them. Definitely. <laughs> Maybe you should go on that show too. Absolutely. <laughs> Just uh, need an invitation. <laughs> so how do you carve up all these condos? How do you approach that? How do you get to them and say hi? Well, really, the, the genesis sort of of this, because we develop software, so we're not property managers. So the genesis of this whole thing was the building that I live at, which is uh, downtown, uh, Kaka'ako. The, the GMs, uh, the GM, the resident manager there said, hey, look, you, hey, you guys do software. Could you create something that enables us to do this and this and this? And we said, uh, well, we could do much better than that. We could create one that does that and does this and this and this. So that was the genesis of this whole thing a couple of years ago. And through that, we ended up getting, launching it at one Archer Lane, which is our ground zero. And... We, and it worked. And it worked. Uh, the residents loved it. You, you may wonder what it does, and we're going to tell you that. <laughs> we just want to have you get really curious, then we're going <laughs> to tell you that. <laughs> so, yeah, so the residents loved it, the managers loved it, and then our management uh, at my building, One Archer Lane, uh, recommended us to other buildings, and so we, we've had somewhat of an organic um, growth since then. With hundreds of clientele? We're approaching uh, our, our, you know, close to 100. That's but, pretty good. Yeah, but yeah, you only have 18,000 left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you, Michael? What do you do in, uh, in terms of uh, getting the word out? We just, I just talk to people. I love talking to strangers. I love meeting strangers everywhere I go. I love stranger stories. I'm a stranger here, so I always meet strangers. <laughs> <laughs> you never know who you're going to sit next to at a restaurant, a bar, in a studio. There so, you go. Uh, Get the word out, yeah. Come to Think Tech. Yeah. yeah, it all works. So, <clears throat> okay, you're a startup. You yes. get the idea, you, you know, and you know the situation because you live mm -hmm. in a condo. It's not hard to figure yeah. it out, really. Exactly. And, um, you know, and it's organizational skills about a, a certain kind of mm, social animal, a legal social animal, the, the condo form, which is imperfect. I'm sure you know that. Um, and, uh, and then you decide you know each other. You don't. Do you know each other at that yes. time? You already know each other. Yes. Yeah. Uh, HPU, how did, how did you meet? It was a, uh, another chance meeting a uh, stranger in a bar. <laughs> we met a few years ago. Uh, literally, uh, we went to answer the same ad to be foodies, uh, to look at possibly being foodies with someone. And that turned out to be a huge farce, but made a best friend out of the deal. We've been right. very close off. friends since then, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, then somewhere along the line, you decide you're going to make a partnership here. Yeah. Okay, as a startup, entrepreneurial kind of partner. So what's, what's the form of your partnership? It's, a, it's an LLC, Limited yeah. Liability Corporation. Yeah. You're both owners of it? Yeah. We're yeah. both managing members, correct. Okay, managing members, good. Yes. Okay, you know the, the yeah. language. <laughs> 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 All right, and so um, where are you on the continuum? Have you taken angel money? Have you looked out for, uh, you, know, we, a, uh, you know, capital investment in one way or another? We initially, what we decided to do was uh, we wanted to uh, have proof of concept. We wanted to get traction, you know, get into the market because I've I've been down that road before and I and I knew that I couldn't pitch oh, something. Oh, you were those serial entrepreneurs. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't <laughs> pitch something without proof of concept. Mm -hmm. And so we decided, hey, let, let's 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 gain some traction. Let's establish a user base, and uh, let's uh, show revenue. And so, as far as to answer your question, where are we in the continuum? We're currently still in our ramp up phase. And are you self funded? Is we are right? self funded. Yes. All right, good. Yeah, we're self funded. So, ramping up, uh, so you have these clients, say, say 100, mm -hmm. just for yeah. this discussion, um, and they, they pay you uh, a monthly fee and they pay yes. you uh, a setup fee, Correct. and then they keep on paying. Yes. Are they obligated to? 
to keep on paying for a period of time, or is that is they can terminate any time? How does that work? They can terminate any time. Uh, most of them are signing twenty-four month contracts with us because you give them a break for twenty-four months. Month break, yeah. correct? Yeah. And then some have signed forty-eight month contracts. They just want to be grandfathered in. Okay. So. And so um, this lives. We're getting now to the substance. This this lives on cell phones. Yes. And it also lives on the web. Correct. And it is uh, like software as a service, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it is something that the individual condo owner uses, or is it just the condo, you know, management? So both. The uh, the condo will subscribe or you know, secure the right to use this the license to, to, to use the software. And then the residents get to use it for free. They download it for free on their phones. And then they get to essentially receive, stay in touch with all things, the building. So, the, so this is the building's way of posting information exactly. for the benefit of, of, the, um, of the resident. Of the residents. And the residents go on it and they look and they get information yes. and so forth. So what's the platform? Is this a, it's a website. A website that's, what do you call it? Well, it's, 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 it's good for cell phones. It's, it's uh, you mean res uh, responsive? Yeah, response. Yeah, actually, so the first version that we launched was, was a phone gap. We were using phone gap um, technology for that, which means that it's a web-based uh, interface. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we just recently launched our version 2.0 last week and so we're getting everyone off of the web base so taking all your customers and upgrading them and upgrading them to a more robust native platform so our recent uh, version is actually a native so we've got uh, native ios and native android okay so what kind of what kind of server do you use for this uh we're, we're using amazon uh dedicated oh, servers, amazon. Yeah. smart yeah yeah because that's totally scalable totally scalable if you represented all eighteen thousand condos absolutely. no problemo no amazon problem would so handle well. it to flesh absolutely yeah. yeah yeah great and they can actually project tell us hey look you're looking like you're gonna need to scale up so it's it's a managed uh, server okay and um what language uh, did you use to program this on the on the server well, initially we did, um, well, there's, there's, there's two different components to it. There's an admin component to it, which is, we use PHP because that is a web interface that the resident manager will log on to their desktop computer when they want to send a push notification or change something on the app at an, an event calendar item. So that we, we, we primarily use PHP. And then, you know, for the actual individual um, apps, uh, you know, we use Java and, and C. Oh, so there's multiple apps within multiple apps the landscape correct. of this app. Uh, correct. So they're not always the same language. You not take the language that's more appropriate for the function. Correct. Yeah. And um, who, who programs this? Um, you guys program it all, or do you have it all uh, no, outsourced, or what? We don't. Um, I understand and can can codes, you know, certain different languages. You know when somebody's I, giving you bad code, eh? I know when somebody's giving <laughs> bad I know enough to be, to be deadly. But we try not to immerse ourselves into being stuck behind a computer because we have... You have to get out. We have to get out. Sell, yeah. but we also have to support. Yeah, okay. So who is programming it for you? We have four very uh, dedicated expert uh, programmers. Uh, that are very knowledgeable in their respective fields, and um, yeah. And they are here or elsewhere? So we have, uh, our company originally started in San Francisco, so we've got uh, a couple of guys in San Francisco, we've got three guys in San Francisco, and then we've got one guy here, and he sort of oversees everything. They're busy all the time or only when you're about to do an upgrade? Busy all the time. Hmm. The okay, well we're busy all the time too, and we're gonna take a break. Okay, so we can rest. We're going to take a one-minute rest break. Awesome. And we come back and we get to the exact functionality of what you're doing. Ooh, yeah. that's the part everybody wants to know about. <laughs> this is Think Tech Tech Talks. This is Bello Silicena, 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 and Michael Harding. Uh, a new generation of apps for Hawaii. We'll be right back. Aloha. My name is Richard Emery, host of Condo Insider. More than a third of Hawaii's population live in some form of association. And our show is all about educating, 
board members and owners about their responsibilities and obligations and providing solutions for a great association. You can watch me live on Thursdays, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. each week. Aloha. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, offering lifelong learning from passionate hosts and fascinating guests, ready to explore and explain Hawaii's place in the 21st century. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Aloha. This is Reg Baker. I'm the host of Business in Hawaii. We air every Thursday at 2 o'clock on thinktechhawaii.com. We broadcast from the Think Tech studios in downtown Honolulu, and we talk about positive and successful companies in Hawaii, people that have been successful despite the obstacles. They all have a good story to tell. Hopefully, we'll see you on Thursday at 2 o'clock. Aloha. Bingo, we're back live here on Think Tech Talks on a given Tuesday. A new generation of apps for Hawaii with Bello Silitsena. Correct. And Michael <laughs> Harding. <laughs> okay, you corrected me during the break that this is not only for condos, this program. It's for neighborhood associations and other types of, what do you call it, real estate management arrangements. Any yeah. form of property management. Any form, Any of, form property. of property management. Whatsoever. So if I have a rental unit like some of these buildings are coming up in Kaka'ako, Absolutely. Uh, then that would be appropriate for that too. Yes, it would. Okay, so my curiosity abides. What exactly does it do? Well, um, I'll, I'll discuss this. It's, it's two-pronged. Okay. So I'll discuss the uh, communication side and then Mike is very passionate about the management side. So as communication, the, the, the true issue for the condo managers was communication. You know, they were using, you know, post notes and uh, bulletin boards as well as email. But there was still a problem because they weren't really effectively reaching their residents. And this is why we were initially summoned to, to come up with a solution for this. So the push using push notifications, you move from communicating very sporadically to having very effective and guaranteed impressions. Because when a push notification goes to your phone, it stays in the notifications bar. And therefore, in order for you to even delete that notification, you still have to somewhat look at it. Yeah. It also makes a little noise when it comes in. Also makes a little noise when it comes yeah. in. That's okay. correct. Uh, or vibration. So, so what kinds of things would it say? So there's a water shut off. Uh, there is going, the pool's going to be down because uh, we're doing maintenance. Or there's been a suspicious uh, character walking oh, around the property. Hence the neighborhood association, like neighborhood watch kind. Correct. That would be very useful. Correct. And who actually pushes? The admin, the resident manager would push it. So he has, he has, he's on a website on his computer. On his computer. So I think I'll send a message to every yeah. single tenant Correct. who is on my mailing Correct. list right now. And bing, it goes out to these hundreds Absolutely. of people, a little sound, and they see it, and it doesn't go away until they remove it. Correct. Pretty good. Not only, not only that, but then you can also send individual notifications to uh, in individual units, unit owners. So for example, uh, somebody's got a blanket or something hanging off of their balcony, you can send a notification to directly to that individual. So Bing, also multiple you got a blanket hanging over here. Yeah, <laughs> so, and then so I'll, I'll just quickly go over some of the other features. That's sort of the cornerstone. There is, um, in, 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 in the condos, the buildings, the, the residents, whenever they're moving furniture, they have to request padding for the elevators. So in, uh, initially, these guys had to go through like a calendar and do all this paperwork. We came up with a self-managed calendar, which uh, self-populates. So I need to reserve the elevator because I'm moving furniture in next week. I'll go on there and see whether that particular date and that time frame is available. So it's calendaring. Calendaring, exactly. Yeah. Same, same notion for recreation area. For So like I've got a party of 20 coming in to have a barbecue. I need to reserve. So any type of reservation system. Uh, this could be adapted to Think Tech Hawaii. We do a lot of calendaring here, okay. calendaring here. Well, you've got my we're number. talk after the show. We have this number. We know. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so we also developed this. There's so many other features. And um, one of the ones that they really like is the parking. So guest parking. So instead of going and filling out your details or whatever, now the person that you're visiting can actually register your car for you. 
and without we'll send standing you, up. Without uh, standing up. So you just come in and park, and then your guests will uh, take care of your your the person you're, you're visiting will take care of that. This is good, and and what strikes me is that it's a, it's scalable, it's expandable, it's Absolutely. extensible, so to speak. Yeah. You can come up with some other kind of thing where you need people to reserve or speak out on an issue. You know, answer you mm -hmm. on an issue. Um, you could add that so easily Absolutely. for any condo. I suppose you could do it differently, condo by condo. Is it different custom, condo by condo? Yeah. Absolutely, custom. Every condo has different wants, needs, or things they don't want. Yeah. So every every condo is individual. And you're happy yeah. to make the changes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Now, big question. Condos are like democratic organizations, and I mean that in the, in the most tumultuous sense of the word. Um, so we, there's voting. Yes. Uh, and all kinds of things around voting. So can you vote on this app? Oh, yeah. We, so we wind up going to the building, speaking with the manager. They like it. Then they have us back in front of the board. And we do it again in front of the board. And then they'll do a vote on it. And nine times out of ten, they vote yes. Oh, so the board is voting. Absolutely. The, the building pays for it. So the, the board has to approve it. Okay. What about the membership in general? I mean, suppose you had a couple of hundred residents there in this building. Well, mm -hmm. they've entrusted, they've voted the board in for a reason, right? They yeah, voted okay, but, but sometimes you have to go them. out and you have to get, yeah, I understand what you're saying yes. and I agree that the board has the authority for day-to-day -day management, yeah. but suppose it's like the election of the board itself, mm -hmm. the slate of candidates. Oh, okay, so you mean uh, a functionality that that, that reaches everyone on a it. vote by everyone. Hey, that's a really good idea. I want, I'm here to help you actually. That's a really good idea, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just all you have to do is expand the module yes. you already have. Yes. I, yes. I think, but I, I, I would warn you about this. You know, this the qua the, the technique of voting is going to be determined by the bylaws, right? <laughs> yeah. So you have to look at the bylaws sure. and see whether this kind of electronic voting is permitted. And if it is not, quick like a buddy, you got to change the bylaws. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you know, it's um, there's also we found that. You know, and a lot of the buildings management really tries to, because they've got already have so much on their plate, getting, you know, resident involvement sort of tends to maybe convolute the process. So they wouldn't want to, you know, it's one of those things where they want it to sort of be a, a one-way street as far as the communication goes. Um, but of course, a lot of them say, hey, I'll put a contact form on there, but just don't let people comment because it'll just muddy the whole thing so yeah uh, some buildings like that but other buildings not like that yeah. yeah 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 it's like you said like you had uh, referenced a few minutes ago it's really custom we customize it for each individual building yeah yeah, yeah. so let's yeah. take a look at uh, some of the shots we have of your interface and okay so i don't know what that is what is that so that's just by the uh, way samsung is my personal <laughs> choice <laughs> mine as well thank you great well so that's just an example uh, so that's just our generic demo app, which you can download and play around with uh, from the app stores. Mm -hmm. And it shows you the little buttons there. You've got your, your push notifications, little general information on the About Us page, contact form, a car wash. We've partnered up with Between Detailing, which is a reputable detailing company in ah. town. Ah. And uh, Between Detailing, essentially your residents would push a button, order, the uh, car wash and these come these guys come in at night and i'm, I'm shaking my head because the, this opens a whole new channel <laughs> suppose i need somebody to house sit suppose i need somebody to clean my place mm -hmm. uh, uh babysit my pet i mean it goes on and on for services yeah. and so if preferred you vendors we call it a preferred we call it a preferred vendor section absolutely this is, this is genius which one of you we, guys had the idea <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't actually. he came up with the preferred vendor thing and, it's, and you know what? And that's 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 the other thing is that we say, look, uh, if you guys are creative enough, some some buildings have gone out to their vendors and said, hey, would you like to be on our app? And they're charging their vendors, and that's who's paying for the monthly on their uh, subscription. Uh, so it's it's really it's really uh, it's really uh, it's the way it's evolved. We like to say that it's. It's been built by property managers for property managers. Yeah. We're just the guys putting it together. Yeah, but you live in a condo, so you know about this stuff. It's also being right. built for the owners of the individual, the owners and the or residents. the renters, for that yeah. matter, of the individual condo. Sure. And as condos evolve, this mm -hmm. presumably will also evolve. Correct. And you'll, you'll, you'll be able to grow it. You've got to stay a, a, ahead of the pack, though, because I think, uh, you know, like anything else really good, there'll be those people who would like to emulate you. Yes. Have a patent? 
Well, we didn't bother with uh, software. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all it takes is a small change in the code. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've been at this for about two years. Um, we've got the relationships with more, sort of more of the core, uh, and we're, we're, we're signing up about 30 buildings uh, every two weeks. 60 buildings a yeah. month. What's it like to, to sign up? You know, because boards of directors of condominium buildings, that's a special animal. I'm sure yeah. you know. We can all shake our Yeah, it's a special <laughs> animal. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> because those boards are volunteer boards. You know, they don't get paid, and mostly they don't really know. And uh, property managers may not know either. And you've got a huge amount of education to do to tell them what's, what's wrong and what can be fixed and, and what, you know, what nirvana is right, right across the street. How do you handle a difficult board? I know they're... That's, that's, when, I, that's when I start talking, actually. <laughs> 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 you crack jokes, make them smile, you know, the typical sales guy stuff, right? Uh -huh. Now, um, a lot of them have a lot of questions that we've heard a uh, hundred times because they're all... Boards are very similar, you know. They want to know uh, the security aspect of it. They want to know how much it costs. They, they don't have that much different questions. So after the, like, the third or fourth one, we kind of had them all. You know how to deal with it. Yeah. Okay, see that camera? This camera one over there. That is a condominium board, and they're watching this program. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, Bella, why don't you go first and tell them what they need to know about your product. Tell them why your product will help them, and they should, they should talk to you soon. Well, I'll, 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 dis I'll s touch on a few things first. You only have one minute to do this. Okay. Well, it's, it's communication. Boards have short spans of attention. <laughs> okay. Well, it's, the number one is communication and being able to communicate effectively with your residents. We know from experience that it's this thing has taken off. We're getting about anyway between seventy to eighty-five percent downloads in buildings. Sometimes even higher, depending on how the resident managers promote the, the app. And the residents love it. The residents love it, but also from a utility standpoint, there are a lot of management functions that will buy your resident manager's time. It'll give them time save back. money. Save money. Save money. Save his salary. Save expenses and the common area expenses. Exactly. Okay, Michael, your turn. You you talk to camera number two, right? Accountability and transparency. As a board, you actually get to see what goes on in your building in real time instead of having to wait to hear from or go and read reports. They come up on your app because you have special permission in certain sections to see what is actually going on in your building from security reports to, to all of your, your minutes and your meetings. So it benefits the board to have something like this as well because it's also the building's app. It's not your property manager's app. So if you decide to get a new property manager, you don't <laughs> lose all of your information. It's still yours. This is great. You guys really have your hand on the pulse. Of it. And I think it's, a, it's an idea, a generation of software, if you will, that's perfect. And there are so many other things, other places, where you can use the same kind of analysis. Oh, yeah. I, I hope you still talk to us when you really, really get wealthy. <laughs> I, hope that's, I, hope, I hope you'll be friendly, okay? Always. Okay, we've got to close the show.